Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. And I'm Cindy Sexton. Everybody is wondering what will happen to the lighting on the Walnut Street Bridge. A $4 million proposal could change a lot. LED lights would bring would be rigged to respond to people walking across the bridge and to the flow of river traffic beneath. Channel 3's Tanisha Cordell joins us live from the bridge tonight to explain the controversy. Tanisha. Well, Greg, right now about 212 lights shine from the Walnut Street Bridge, as you can see pretty much all around me right now. So some people want to keep it simple, just like it is, as you again, right now. Now, the price tag for the new system would be again $4 million, with half of that coming from taxpayers' money. What happens if we don't raise that money that we need? Where is that money coming from? You know, it's a historic bridge, and I, I feel like it ought to be treated as such. Councilman Henderson says this is a concern he raised during the city's budget meeting. He says he wasn't given a clear answer, but he wasn't alone. And there were some other council people that had some concerns as well, and the chairman uh, directed the city attorney to present a continuing resolution. New lighting on the Walnut Street Bridge is included in the city's proposed $14 million rehabilitation project. The lights would use what's called a data responsive lighting design, meaning ripples of colored light would gradually climb up and down the bridge whenever there's movement on it. But some wonder if it's necessary. That seems a little excessive to me. I would think that there's other more urgent projects, you know, in town that $3 million could be put toward. The city's public art director says it would be cheaper to just replace the current lights, but they cost more to maintain. Whereas the new tech lighting system will save energy and cut the utility bill for the bridge by at least 70%. It's something Henderson says he wants to take a closer look at. What I, what I need to look at is maintenance cost of LED versus the maintenance cost of this lighting package and uh, licensing fee as well. Now, city council members will have to vote on the budget in about two weeks, um, but the final design for the new lighting system still has to be approved by three different agencies. For now, live in Chattanooga, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.